Welcome to our review on genetic engineering. First thing we need to know is what's meant by the term genetic engineering. And quite simply, all we're talking about here is when we're altering an organism's genome by selecting genes that create a certain characteristic. And as a result of this, we will be changing both the genotype and the phenotype of the organism. So some key benefits of carrying out this process of genetic engineering. We can increase the crop yield, which is what we see with things like cotton. We can actually use toxins to kill insects that are produced by the plant itself, which is an example of what we can see in certain corn varieties. And we can also produce key drugs such as insulin for human consumption by using things like bacteria. When it comes to understanding how we carry out this process of genetic engineering, then the first thing we need to do is identify our desired characteristic. What we then do is we take those foreign genes from one organism that shows that characteristic, and then we insert them into the plant or animal that we want to show this characteristic at a really early stage of development. And a good example of where we've done this is in tomatoes. Now, for our tomatoes, they used to be really susceptible to frost. So if we had a hard frost, then what would happen is a lot of the tomatoes would be ruined. So what we've actually done is we've taken the antifreeze gene from the flounder, the fish on the right there, and inserted it into tomato plants. So now we have varieties of tomato plant that are very frost resistant, so they're not going to be as susceptible to a frost. As with most things in science, there are also some risks associated. The first and most important risk that we've got here is that we've got unknown long-term effects. We've not had genetically engineered organisms around for any real length of time, so we don't know the long-term effects of eating them or having them in the environment will be. So some of the negative effects that could occur may be that we will have some health problems because we might introduce a new allergen to food that people respond badly to. We could also potentially see cross-pollination with wild plants. So that could disrupt the balance of the ecosystem if all of a sudden one of our pest resistant genes makes it into the wild population as well. And some people just don't like the idea. They think it's unethical because we're interfering with nature. So hopefully at the end of this video, you can now state what is meant by genetic engineering you can describe how to genetically engineer an organism in simple terms, and you can evaluate the benefits and risks of using genetic engineering in agriculture.